and welcome to Patty Knits and Spins. I'm Patty, also known as Patty Sand on Ravelry. It's January 25th, 2014, and this is episode 4. I'm a lemming! Yes, I will stand proud and say that I am a lemming. So, I guess, let's get on with the show. On this week's episode, I will be talking about the patterns I like, works in progress, finish objects, um, spinning, uh, favorite things, um, acquisitions, and a fun fact about Alaska. So, I guess, let's get on with the show. Um, the pattern that caught my eye this week was a pattern called The Snowflake Stranded Shawl by Deborah Tomasio. It's um, $6 on Ravelry, and hopefully there's not too much of a glare. I'm really sorry about the glare of my glasses, but I need to be able to see... So, here it is. It looks very, very interesting. Let me see if I can get you some information on it. It's knit out of fingering weight yarn on a size 9, 5.5 millimeter. And, I don't know, it just looked really, really interesting. It's, it came out in August of 2013, so maybe you should take a look at it and see what you think. Works in progress. I still had the same two works in progresses. I'm sorry about that. It looks like it's going to take me a little while to get through these because I found something I like to do and I've been doing it. So, first pattern is the Hanalei by M. Ski Knits. Mel from the Single Handed Knit Podcast. It's a really great podcast. Um, I'm doing it out of Hell of a Skein by Mustache Yarns with the mustache, uh, mustache girls. And here's the other side. It is a fingering weight sweater and I'm doing it on a size 4 needle, 3.5 millimeter. Here is the start of the left side. Yay! I'm on sides now. Woo! I, uh, last week I was just working on the back so I finished it after it attacked me. After I got done, yes, last week, I just started knitting away again and had knit three inches too much. I could not believe it. <laughs> it's one of those things where you don't think you're knitting a lot and then all of a sudden it caught up with me. Yeah, that happened. And here is the right front. So I have the two fronts, started the left, and everybody else is seaming. Oh well! <laughs> um, the next thing on the needles is the Follow Your Arrow Mystery Shawl by Usola Teague. Oops, I'm doing these on a size, um, oh, I didn't write it down, a size 6, 4.0 millimeter. Um, if you don't want to be spoiled, don't look. And I'm really sorry, I should have put a spoiler note that I was going to put the picture at the end with of the Works in Progress section. I'll do that again, so if you don't want to know or be spoiled, skip through that part. So here we go. I did 1A and then 2B. It's very interesting, so I'm going to keep going. This is uh, out of patents, lace, antique vintage, or vintage antique. Oh, I tell you, those two are going to drive me crazy. So I'll put the pictures here. finished objects and I have two. One you guys didn't see and the other one you did. Um, last week I was working on the hubby's last hat, a, a windchief hat, um, out of um, Cascade Superwash 220 on a size 6 4.0 and a 7 4.5. So I finished it and he has it, but here is a picture of it. I'm really happy how it turned out. It, I finished it before his birthday. I was able to give it to him, and he was very happy. So, I had yarn left, and I decided to make him the cowl that goes along with it. 
and uh, he likes he likes cowls too so it was perfect so here's the cowl and this is the same pattern I don't have the um, ribbing showing but um, this is it so his birthday presents were a success the socks fit he likes them the hat he likes the cowl he likes that too it was kind of funny the next day he walked into the house wearing his hat and his cowl and it brought a big smile to my face Spinning! I did some spinning this week, but I didn't even touch the Cloud Lover. It is still sitting out in my living room looking at me every day and making me feel a little guilty. I will get back to that because I do want to finish that up and get something else on my wheel. I did finish, though, the first ounce of the Polychrome Pass by Unique Creations and Fiber. So here that is. I like how it turned out and it is still relatively thin so I'm happy about that and I started on the second ounce the spindle is a KCL wood I think is what it's called and it's that one that um, Karen of around the twist showed a long time ago that uh, comes apart I bought this at Sock Summit 2011. That was the first place I wanted to go to because I really wanted one of those. But here is the card on the fiber. And so as soon as I'm done with this, I'll start spinning the alpaca, applying them together, and hopefully I'll get enough to do something Acquisitions and favorite things kind of rolled into one this week. And I'm a lemming. I'm a lemming. I'm a lemming. I'm a self-proclaimed lemming. I will follow you off the cliff. No problem. You need a lemming. This girl's it. Yes. I started the Once Upon a Time Sampler by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. If you want to find them, it's pumpkin stock. It's Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery dot Big Cartel dot com. I can't believe I did that. I have not cross stitch in over 20 years, and it has been that long. So I started it. I had the first month almost done when I realized that yes, I miscounted by four rows. Four rows. You know, that, you can't come back from that. You just really can't. So, I went back to the store, bought some more stuff, so that I could actually do it. So, here's what I got done in the last two days. And my favorite thing is my snap wear. I bought this um, at, after Christmas and wasn't quite sure what I could put in it, but as you see, I've got my stuff in here for that, and the project will even fit in here too. So I can grab it and go and do whatever I want and use it however I want. Alaska fun fact this week is about Barrow. <clears throat> Sorry, Woo. it's about Barrow, Alaska. Barrow, Alaska got its first sunrise on Wednesday of a whole 23 minutes. That's right, folks. Barrow is now getting light again. They will get light and keep it off and on. And once they catch up all their minutes as it gains, they will have a total of 84 days without a sunset. So, in the middle of summer, 84 days, no sunset. I don't think I'd like that. Here in Fairbanks, it's like two days maybe. And no, two months worth, that's way too much. I'm gonna throw some pictures in of trees here. One was taken earlier in the week with snow on the trees and the sunlight bursting through it. It was beautiful. And the second one, there's no snow on the trees. 
That's right, folks. It got so warm it rained. It rained on Thursday night. It rained on Friday morning. School was canceled. There was a wreck with a borough bus. This is crazy. You can't even walk down my front steps or you might fall down and hurt yourself. My poor son, he got his car stuck in our front yard. That's right, in our own front yard. This is just ridiculous. But what can you do? <sighs> okay, so if you're a new viewer, thanks for checking me out. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. I love seeing those YouTube numbers keep going up. You can find me on Ravelry as Patty Sand. You can find me on Plurk as Pat Sand 631. Instagram as Patty Sand 631. I have a Ravelry group, Patty Knits and Spins, and my email address is akcold2 at yahoo.com. Come on, join me. Let me know what you're thinking, how things are going. So I hope you all enjoyed it. See you next week. Bye.